12.17 right now. Ben Perry back with first alert weather. What should we be alerted to now? Well, more rain is in the forecast. Yeah, what was kind of interesting on the morning show, we were talking about how in just 10 days, that's the official start of winter, mm -hmm. right? The winter solstice. That's the shortest day of the year. Days start getting longer. Well, the boomerang yeah. effect, it comes yeah, back. Yeah, it comes time, back. Yeah. So we're going to be gaining daylight. But yeah, these days, especially once we get into this afternoon and the evening, the sun is going to be disappearing from the horizon. It's going to look really dark by the time we hit to 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. So just when our show is over. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You can already start to see it as the sun nears the horizon. It just You don't know if it's dawn or dusk outside. Hmm. So this is a live shot from our rooftop camera overlooking uh, T-Mobile Park, which is still decked out for the holidays. And notice the roadway. It's now wet. We have rain uh, that has moved in. Uh, it's nothing inc incredibly heavy, but it looks like the rain is going to be in the forecast probably through the rest of the day and a good chunk of the rest of this week. So hopefully you saw that sunbreak that we saw earlier this morning. 47 degrees right now. Temperature is not moving very much the next couple of days, mainly staying in the 40s. So here's a live look at radar right now. Uh, you can see the showers uh, basically from Everett southward. It started a little earlier over the southwest interior. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. You can see some oranges and yellows indicating some briefly moderate showers, uh, but the steady stuff, the, the steadier stuff, I should say, is still sitting offshore with the main frontal system. So let's back things up a little bit further. You can see this mass of clouds and uh, rain that's sitting just offshore. That's the main front that'll be pushing through later this afternoon, and the steady rain will likely cover most of western Washington for your evening commute. So it will turn wetter as the day goes by, and as we get beyond tomorrow, we're looking at on-again, off-again showers that will take us into the rest of the week. We're not seeing a significant break from the precipitation, probably at least until this upcoming weekend. So let's flip things over to Futurecast. Our high resolution forecast model that we get exclusively from the University of Washington actually does a really good job at timing out when these showers are going to be arriving. So again, here's the light rain that we're seeing right now as we head into the afternoon hours. Notice the kind of blob just covers most of western Washington. It's not going to rain forever, however. The steady stuff should be wrapping up by, say, 8, 9 o'clock tonight. The main front will be off towards the east, but then the breezy conditions start. So behind this front, we're looking at some breezy weather that will take us in through most of the day tomorrow. This is at 7 a.m. And notice it's not widespread, uh, all steady stuff, but you can see showers are definitely around, and they will be around for most of Thursday not uh, fading until at least Friday midday, not even until the afternoon hours. So yeah, a little wet in the forecast. Our forecast model is showing a lot of us picking up well over a half an inch of rainfall. The exception, the rain shadowed areas, northeastern slopes of the Olympics, uh, Squim Bay, uh, the Discovery Bay area, probably picking up a quarter inch or less. But from Everett southward, you can see quite a bit of rain, even Bellingham picking up on a half an inch of rainfall. And not to mention, this is all going to translate to some pretty heavy snowfall. Uh, Stevens Pass area, probably picking up between a foot and a foot and half of snow, but above 4,500 feet, the upper edges of the mountains could pick up anywhere between two and four feet of snowfall over the next couple of days or so. So great news for skiers and snowboarders. Again, wrapping up uh, as we head into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, not completely dry. A couple of hit or miss showers with temperatures cooling back into the mid 40s for highs. So this is a little bit more typical, mm -hmm. uh, a lot uh, more normal than what it was in the dryness of November. If yeah, you remember that. Okay, boy. All right. Thank you, Ben. Yeah.